Welcome, this is the Marketplace Excellence Crib and Report for Friday, November 27th, 2020. I'm Kijan Haynes. The MPE Crib and Report provides updates from around the region. A few weeks ago, we highlighted the appointment of U.S. Virgin Islander Dr. Marcella Nunes-Smith as co-chair of the Biden-Harris Transition COVID-19 Task Force. We spoke with her exclusively this week about her advice about the holiday season during the COVID-19 pandemic. We are social people <laughs> and this we're asking for us to, to, to do different than, you know, many of us have grown up and have known. And, you know, it, it is it is sacrifice. I'm not going to pretend like it's not to say, you know, with the holidays coming, you know, keep social distance, you know, for Thanksgiving in my house, just the folks who live here, you know, we're not hosting the Thanksgiving. You know, I know some people are doing different things, you know, you can have the Zoom, Folks are doing kind of potluck where you can drop off, um, you know, food at different people's houses. You know, we can get creative in a way that keeps us safe because it's an investment really in future holidays for all of us. So, you know, be safe. Uh, let's take care of one another. You know, we're all in this together. And we will feature more of Dr. Nunez Smith in upcoming editions of Caribbean Report. Trinidad is set to launch Destination Trinidad, a newly redesigned marketing website designed to lure visitors to the island once borders open, of course. Visit Trinidad.tt will launch during a virtual event on November 30th. It will provide information about the island's history, sites and attractions, as well as ways to keep safe during the pandemic. It will also promote domestic tourism for those looking to explore in their own backyard. The United States' first Caribbean American Heritage Museum opened last week in the Westfield Broward Mall in Plantation, Florida. The island's Space Caribbean Museum tells stories of the history and culture of Caribbean and Caribbean American people. The museum will also facilitate meetings, events, and other educational programs. It's free to the public through the end of January 2021. And for the cricket fans out there, the West Indies men's team bowled off in the first of three T20 matches in New Zealand today. The tour runs from November 27th to December 15th. After the three T20 matches, there will be two test matches played. Both the men's and women's team will sport the new maroon and yellow Castor T20 eye kit for all T20 internationals for the 2021 season. Virgin Islander Jabari Carrington, Jaman, has dropped a new single that features reggae legend Calvin George Scott, also known as Coco T. The song promotes positivity and encourages self-confidence despite the circumstances and challenges that life presents. We leave you with We Up, Never Down. Wicked people in the street, with them killing every day. Innocent, your dice, I am stealing. Tell I man if you are willing to help Coco T and Jaman. From the V.I. to the bank of the river Nile Every day of Babylon I get the pick they them spoil Right now I and I ready to start up the Gideon And march up the Babylon Ready when you're ready now Go tell them we up, never down Good vibes staying around Tell them we up, never down I and I never ever and that's our update for the week. Remember, things change, and the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association has a comprehensive list of Caribbean countries and territories that are opening their borders, planning to do so soon, or are changing their COVID-19 travel protocols. So if you're planning a trip, visit caribbeanhotelandtourism.com slash COVID-19 for more details. We wish you an enjoyable weekend, and please wash your hands, maintain physical distancing, wear a mask, and stay well. I'm Kijan Haynes, and this has been the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report.